Car of Jake Dennis. He goes through, so too does Bruno Spengler. Haven't we? From Jamie Green and Jake Dennis, and here comes Bruno Spengler. So, racing room ish left for Bruno Spengler to have a go by Jake Dennis. And now Timo Glock comes back, Nico Muller on the inside of Bruno Spengler. So, all the fighting going on here, this is allowing Jake just to get up the road and say, Get on with it, guys, I'm out of here. And uh, Pietro Fittipaldi and Jonathan Aberdeen and uh, Joel Eriksson and Lloyd Duval as well. <laughs> and now he's as close as he's been so far. Yamashita up the inside. This is for the championship. He's got it done. Will he get it? Stop. Oh. There's contact. Wow. Incredible racing. Sekiguchi comes back at him. Yamashita holding it on the inside. Sekiguchi has to stay there. They're across the grass. I can't believe Formula One commentary as we see a pass here, the Fords and the Corvettes going at it again. Joey Hand inside the four. See the red, white, and blue Ford GT there, the 66, Joey Hand. These, not these two cars specifically, but we may see some contact Whoa, right here. Oh, look at this. This is a tough pass into turn six, but it is being made, but Joey's gonna have a run back up the course through. This is what Laguna Seca really lends itself to, having to be aggressive into the course through. Pass made. These two guys know each other really well. Joey just tries to hang on there. He used to drive it. Ensure that it's not going to be an easy pass. Going to try and make it go the long way around the outside. Chirilami almost on the paint. Slip streams by. The question is now. He comes up again. Huff gets the side draft as well. Oh, this is so close. This is so close. And the cars, Matt, are being buffeted by each other in the slipstream. Oh. Oh, unbelievable. They're not trying to hit each other. They're trying not to hit each other. Huff. Huff, he holds him out round oh. Tigon. But the inside line for Nesta Chirilami is up into third. tries to make the move on the outside line as they head up towards Campagnano and Croyton is under attack from Israel so Germany's in danger of losing the leaders there Israel tries the outside line absolutely wheel to wheel fantastic race between these two and Germany comes out of the corner ahead up now towards turn eight Germany Nicholas Croyton having to make this car so wide Italy up the inside line for second place it's going to be close he's got the inside line for eight the inside for nine Italy goes second turn three 
Rosso is going to make a move on this. We got a very defensive Germany trying to block and look at Cohen even thinking about. Oh, got to be very careful. A, a, a solid finish that will put you near the front of the grid for tomorrow. Italy to the outside line. No banking going on here because Italy is on the attack all the way around the outside. Goes Andrea Rosso. He gets run out wide up the curb. Delayed on exit. Here comes Israel side by side. On the inside line is Italy. Also joining the party is Hungary in fourth place. Italy stays second, but look, even with that squabbling, Croyton isn't getting away. By Croyton, so he should, uh, Croyton, so he should have the pace, and he does go ahead on the outside line, though, wheel to wheel. One more lap to run at the end of this. Rosso for Italy again, tries to go around the outside again, gets run up the curb, but he stands his ground on the inside line. Italy for the race lead, look at this, they're almost touching. Last of the late breakers, they are still together. Italy goes through, great move. The yeah. cars with Israel just to find out, down the inside into... Wow, can he get it done? Can he get forced or what? Yes. Germany's gone from first to third in the space of what is little over half a lap. Timmer holds the inside line here, Timmy Hansen on his right, can he hold on to the braking zone, up into the hairpin. The Russian driver's going to push Timmy wide, held on very nice indeed, Kevin's going to have to slide two, Kevin, Timmy's got the inside line, they're down into the next one, so is Timmy going to go deep on the brakes in the Peugeot? He does, and Timmer has to give the place back, so Timmer places swapping into the joke lap, Kevin Hansen has gone, and she's it as well, so you're on board with Timmer who gets up underneath Timmy, Timmy does what Liam did yesterday, gets back underneath the Russian, side by side over the jump, this has gone on for the whole lap, Timmer's now on the outside, going to try and cut to the inside. Timmy runs wide. The Russian's going to get back up the inside of Timmy through a rouge again. Ah, oh, this is a mega fight. On the brakes again into the heaven, and this time Timmy has to give best, does he? He's on the inside again, Dan. This is incredible. Absolutely fantastic stuff here. These guys are really going for it. Timmy's now looking at going on. Non, ça y est, très agressif. Oh, il y a Prio qui emmène Norbert Michelis à l'extérieur, obligeant le Hongrois à lever le pied. Après, il faut que Mikelic reste, reste vraiment tranquille parce que il a un gros coup à jouer au championnat. Ouais, c'est vrai que ces, ces lignes-là, ces trajectoires pour Prio, elles sont pas très, elles sont pas très, pas très, très fair play. Hein. Évidemment, il a envie de remporter la course, mais il faut rester fair play. Andy Prio qui est vraiment poussé dans ses retranchements par Norbert Michelis. Qui va ah essayer à l'extérieur. Et il est parti d'Ambert Michelis Ouh là là, il a été obligé de lever le pied. Oui, parce qu'il y avait une pile de pneus aussi. Je ne sais pas si vous avez vu à l'intérieur du virage. Il est arrêté, regardez comme tout le monde est en train de revenir. Ça se regroupe. C'est fini. Oui, comme la vitesse de pointe des... C'est vrai que c'est étrange qu'il n'ait pas réussi à doubler. Ah, et a priori, il y aurait une crevaison pour Andy Prio. Et c'est Tarquini qui va en profiter c'est Tarquini qui est passé de l'autre côté. Oh, et Prio, voilà Avec un, une roue avant droite, crevée. But Dean and Borkowski back at it again. And Borkowski back where he was the first time. All over James Dean's car. He is actually side by side. Front wheel to front as he's pushing Dean around the track. And the transition is insane. The transition doesn't even make sense. How did he get away with that? And he's still in it. Borkowski dives onto Dean's door again. Here we go again. He is hungry for it. This kid wants his name on everyone's lips tonight. And by midnight, he might just be that rising star as he... All over the back of James Dean's car, he's right there, he's closer than he was the first time. He's more aggressive than he was the first time. And now, he's right with Dean, he lost him here the last time, not this time. James cannot get away, and Borkowski goes right to the door.